I bought this weird PSP thing from AliExpress for $15, and in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at it and see what's up with it. All right, so as you can see, we got a PvP station Lite 3000. Uh, clearly, it looks very similar to a PSP, probably why they tacked on the, the 3000 there, and they've, they've slapped a V there instead of an S for uh, PvP. I don't know what PvP means. We got 3D World, 8-bit, 2.8-inch LCD, full-color LCD screen, more brighter, uh, Crash, Mind Over Mutant. So we got Crash popping out of the screen. We got this other dude over here. Uh, yeah, um, PvP Station Lite 3000 on the top. Super wide color LCD digital game system. This thing is awesome. Like I, I, I love, <laughs> I love the descriptions that all these products from China have. I'll be at the black version there. And uh, I don't know if you can tell very well on camera, but it's got this weird like glossy glimmer thing to it. Like you can probably see it there. Like why? Why? <laughs> like, I don't know what the point is, but it's funny and not much packaging. It just slides around in here. Uh, digital game system. It's slim, portable, and trendy. In case you didn't know, this is a trendy console. Uh, console can play with external game cards. All right. Backlit function, blah, blah, blah. Oh, right. well, let's, let's just open this thing up and see what's inside of this smashed up box. All right. So perfect packaging. You got a little piece of cardboard there. You've got your trendy console right here. I'll take a look at that in a second. We got some other random junk in here. We've got a, oh yes, we got 88,800, no, no, no. 888,888 in one random special. <laughs> what? Oh boy. Oh, it's got TV output. Nice. We've got a charger, I guess, maybe. Let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> uh, digital pocket system, pocket light. It looks very similar to another uh, pocket station thingamajig I bought recently. Oh, it is a rechargeable battery. Nice. What in the world? Why does it say? <laughs> Dude, this is a Game Boy Advance SP battery. This is, must be an aftermarket Game Boy Advance SP battery. Let me zoom in on this. It's got this weird glitter thing to it, so you probably can't read the text, but it says, uh, using a range battery only with Game Boy Advance SP. So we're already breaking the law here. We're using it on a uh, PVP Station Lite 3000. And uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. And... Oh, baby. We got action game, fighter game, sport game, puzzle game, racing game, and shoot game. <laughs> shoot game this volume gets really loud it's, it gets really distorted but it, it's loud and you've got your x your circle or your o whatever you want to call it triangle um square or excuse me cross what is this what does this cartridge do does this do anything so we turn it off turn it back on yeah i mean holy crap they actually loaded there's no way they actually loaded this many games on here i just gotta get to the point where they start skipping numbers dude they must have just loaded the same games on here like a hundred thousand times like there's no way they put eight hundred eighty eight thousand different games in here i don't think there's even that many different games on earth mario bros all right let's play this why does this screen look like crap there's got to be a little film on here yeah there is okay there we go take the film off this looks very similar to uh, the the gs5 i just got recently same type of games there's no back buttons here looks like there would be but there's not got a reset button it actually works pretty well like I'm not gonna lie on the screen is I mean, the screen's better than I thought it would be. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah, there's there's Mario Bros. at number five. I just saw that, like, 888,200 and something, I think. So they're definitely just repeating the same games over and over again. Look, look. <laughs> Mario Bros. is number five. Mario Bros. is number 11. Mario Bros. is also number 19. Number 26. Number 35. Are, are they seriously repeating the same, like, 10 games or something? Like, what? <laughs> Dude, this is hilarious. Okay, so we got 59, 50... It seems like they're in random order too. Like at, at this point, there's 54 and 59, so they're, you know, five apart. And then later on, they're like 10 apart. Dude, I think they legitimately have like the same 10 games on here, just repeated 888,000 times. What on earth? What, what are these people thinking when they put a console together like this? Like, why don't you just call it 10 and 1? Are you really getting that many more sales from calling it 888,000 and 1 instead of 10 and 1? Like, I don't know. Or even just like a thousand and one. It's just so ridiculous to call it 888,000. I can't get over it. It's wild. So guys, if you like my videos here, make sure to check out my website down below. It's called jrobgaming.com. And I've had a newsletter sign up for quite a while now. And in the past, I've kind of used it mostly for discount codes for my website. But I'm transforming it now into an actual weekly newsletter where I share uh, interesting gaming content such as, you know, overpriced weird consoles I find, funny gaming content online, and just anything else that I think is interesting. Right, so I'm, I'm turning this back on without the uh, cartridge. Let's play fighter game. It's probably the exact same game. Oh, no, it's different games. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, maybe. Oh, no, dude, this is 999,999 in one. 
even better. And again, we're repeating the same like nine games. We got Super Chinese, and there's Super Chinese again. There's Super Chinese again. <laughs> All right, let's go back to uh, action game. Super Mario 3, Angry, Angry Birds. What? That's so random. Usually these are like Famicom games that are on a Famiclon. Wait, hold on. Did I just say stage two? Why did I just start this game and it's put me straight into stage two? Let me, let me show that again. I press start. Stage two, rest 03. Dude, there's so many like confused. What is this? This is like a combo of like Mario Bros and Angry Birds. Like, what am I, what am I playing here, dude? Let's go to racing game. Road Fighter again, 999,999 and one. Donkey Kong Jr., here we go. Let's play this. I mean, I guess for 15 bucks, it's not bad, but like, it's just, it's such a random device. I will never understand like the appeal of these devices. Like who is buying these? I mean, I guess me. I feel like they get most of their sales off of curious gamers that are like, oh, this looks weird. Let's buy it. Or 15 bucks, might as well. But <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. And I, I didn't even take a closer look at this. What do they got on here? Yeah, it's even got like this design on the back like the PSP has. There's your speaker. Of course, we saw the uh, battery there. Yeah, I guess you can do an output to the TV. Kind of cool, I guess. Like, seems like such a random functionality to build into a $15 device, but all right, sure. Uh, let's try out Shoot Game. What they got here? Super Contra 24 and 1, Frontline Galaga. Nice, let's go. The classic. It is indeed Galaga. I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know that it's some sort of knockoff Galaga. All these games seem to have like slight issues. Like it's a, I don't know, knockoff Mario Bros, knockoff Galaga. Or maybe it's just a version I've never seen before. But uh, man, I, I, I can't get over how weird these consoles are. Puzzle game, Dr. Mario, Tetris 2. Again, 999,999 and 1. I think they just like slapped as many numbers as possible there. As many as they fit. Like if they had enough, if they had enough screen space to put... 999 trillion they would and then just repeat the games over and over <laughs> i just feel like it's such a waste of space and memory and time putting all these games on here i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and i want to take a look inside of this thing it's got one screw holding it in place there yeah there we go okay we got three screws holding this console in place actually four we gotta break that seal so one two three four screws let's go ahead and open this up and <laughs> see see what the inside looks like it's got all the screws out but it's still not coming apart i think i gotta like release some clips or something all right, I finally got it out. I had to, uh, there were some clips on here I had to pry loose. Um, yeah, there's our cartridge slot. And the back piece looks pretty plain. Uh, it's not a very complex PCB. We need to s flip it over somehow. Oh, there's, of course, some more screws here. Give me a second. All right, now let's flip this thing over. We've got a screen, of course. Got a pretty basic PCB. You got your pads for your, you know, your four buttons over here. You got three buttons down there. Pretty basic, of course. I don't have the knowledge to design a PCB like this, but... Comparatively to like a PS5, Xbox Series X, or any game console, really pretty basic. Just you know, a one-layer PCB. Not not even there's not even any traces in the back. You just got a couple uh, a couple of traces right there that go through the board to the LED right there, and then you know your uh, micro USB port there or your mini USB port, excuse me. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so interesting seeing these consoles and how how basic they are. Uh, how they, they, they're like interesting and they, they for their purpose they work fine i mean like this one I mean, the buttons are not bad and uh, the screen's not bad like the screen is better than i thought it would be but even for 15 bucks it's like why like what <laughs> i guess i guess if you want to play galaga on the go and you don't want to download it on your phone then this is a great solution you can play galaga now or mario bros or whatever whatever the 10 games i had on here but yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to hit that like button down below and uh, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time